Hi, and welcome back to Tundra Sounds. Today we are going to take a look at how we can use Tempest and a computer together. So in my case, we're using the DAW Logic Pro X. So I'm going to use Logic Pro X to control whenever I want the Tempest to play, whenever, whenever I want the Tempest to stop, and the BPM should be perfectly matched. So to do that, we will have, we will have to do some changes to the settings on the Tempest and the computer or Logic Pro X as well. So let's get on with it. So let's go to the system settings. We're going to, let's see, one, two, three, and four. We're going to make Logic Pro X control the Tempest. So as you can see in the MIDI clock mode, I will make the Tempest a slave. It will be controlled, it will not control. So it will be controlled, slave. And then I will tap the uh, down arrow and I will change the MIDI clock in cable to MIDI port because I will connect a MIDI cable to the MIDI in of the Tempest and MIDI out of my sound interface. So let's tap the system button again. And as you can see, it says EXT, it's external, external control of the transport here. So I cannot, I cannot play it now. As you can see, nothing happens. However, when I tap the play button on Logic Pro X, it should work. Let's see. No, it doesn't work. Well, that's because I haven't done anything to the settings yet. So we will go to Logic Pro X, Preferences and MIDI. And now we'll go to Sync and to MIDI sync project settings. From here, we will have to choose a destination, MIDI clock destination, and I will have to send the signals to my sound device because I haven't used the USB directly to the Tempest. But my sound interface, it has MIDI in and MIDI out. So I'm sending a MIDI out from the MIDI, uh, from the sound interface to uh, Tempest. And I will have to choose a mode. So the most complex of the song modes is the SPP at play start and stop, SPP continue at cycle jump. I will use this one. So now you can watch. Let's see. Whenever I play, let's uh, zoom in. Whenever I play, you can see that uh, this one will play as well. And a cool thing is it does the same when I'm looping in Logic, it just keeps on playing. So there's many benefits from actually making Logic Pro X force the Tempest to play, stop and loop at the same time as Logic Pro X. And also there's many benefits of making the Tempest actually following the exact same BPM as Logic Pro X. So just by using one audio cable from the Tempest to your audio interface, you can, let's see, we'll go to the plus sign here, plus button here, and we will create uh, one with input number two, create one. I will name this Tempest All Drums. And I will show you why, because now we're going to record by using the 16 mutes uh, function here. I will unmute the sounds that we are using. So let's play it uh, once. Okay, so we cannot do this because if we're recording all of these sounds together, we can't mix them um, separately. However, we're going to mute and unmute them instead. So let's see, we're doing like this. And I will hit the record button. I will let that one play for a while for two bars because I know the drum drum beat is a true two bar loop. So, and then I will switch, bam, and then bam, 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 and bam. Okay, so let's, let's try this.
and then I will stop it. Okay, so let's just zoom in here now. As you can see, we have divided this. Uh, let's go a little, little bit uh, closer here. So this is a two bar loop. So I can now just chop up all of these. Uh, let's see. Let's use the uh, scissor tool and chop. 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 And uh, we can use the pointer tool to grab this one. Okay. So let's uh, repeat by duplicating the track here. And now I can just drag all of these underneath each other. So let's see. So now all of these individual tracks can be uh, mixed in different ways. Uh, you can put effects on them and whatever you whatever you like. So Okay, so that was just one of the good reasons why you should learn how to MIDI sync between the Tempest and your Logic Pro X. Or whatever hardware you have and whatever door you have. Because there are many good reasons to learn this in live sessions and studio sessions, whatever. There are so many good reasons. So if you know one of them, you could always comment below. Uh, you could ask other questions if you need other answers um, that has something to do with this video or if you just want to know if I could make other videos just comment below if you like the video just click the like button if you want to see if I have something more just uh, click the subscribe button and uh, yeah we'll see you soon